Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I apologize that it has been so long since I've posted a video. I actually filmed a video with my sister, had it edited and even uploaded it and it wasn't until after I uploaded it that I realized that it was messed up and the file got corrupted and oh my gosh I was so upset, so upset. But we are eventually going to redo the video, hopefully sometime this week. Uh, but yeah, so I had a video, it was up, and I had to take it down. And I was really, really upset about it because I spent so long editing that video. It was really cute. But anyway, today I'm just sitting here doing my makeup. I'm getting ready to go to church in a couple hours. And I thought I would sit here and do the mom tag or it's some um, it's 20 questions uh, to ask moms. I don't know if this is the official mom tag. I don't think it is. But anyway, I just figured I would sit here and answer some questions about being a mom while I do my makeup. And uh, this was something that I filmed, filled you all in on in the video I was going to post. But since it's not up, I'm going to do it again. Um, I am doing a purge of makeup. Uh, on my skin for a month. I'm not putting any kind of foundation or powder on my skin because I'm just trying to heal all this acne up. Okay, so question number one is how old was I when I had my first child? And my oldest is Gage and he is getting ready to turn four this Friday. And I was 23 years old when I had him. Uh, the hardest part of pregnancy, uh, the hardest part of pregnancy was definitely the morning sickness with Gage. I was nauseous all nine months and I even lost 14 pounds in the first four months of pregnancy because I couldn't hold any food down. Um, it wasn't as bad with Declan. So I think the hardest part about being pregnant with Declan was actually having a toddler while being pregnant and just being tired. But overall, the hardest part of either pregnancy was definitely the, um, the nausea. Question number three is, what was my favorite thing about being pregnant? Uh, well, with Gage, definitely my favorite part. Like, I just loved being pregnant in general, even though I was sick uh, during a lot of it, or all of it, pretty much. Uh, I still loved being pregnant. I loved my baby bump, and I loved keeping a pregnancy journal. There's a fly in here. It's driving me nuts. Um... But I think my favorite part was probably being pregnant at the same time as my sister. Our boys were born 30, 37 days apart. But they were their due dates were actually only 29 days apart. But uh, she had my nephew early. So, yeah, that was probably the funnest part was just having them together. Declan was just the usual stuff, you know, feeling them move, the, you know, your belly, all of that. And it was really fun to, like... Um, See how Gage reacted to everything. But I really enjoyed both of my pregnancies very thoroughly. Alright, were the things that I heard about birth accurate or way off? Uh, well, in my experience, everyone's birthing story is completely different. Um, you know, everybody handles labor different and that goes different amounts of time. Um, with me, mine was definitely, it did not go as planned whatsoever. Um... So I wanted to have Gage naturally because I'm terrified of the epidural. Still am. Like, that's just terrifying to me. Uh, so I went into labor on and off for four days. And then I finally went into the hospital. And they put me on Pitocin to keep my labor going because it kept stopping. And they was afraid that it would uh, end up stressing him out and just not be good for me or him either one. Uh, so they put me on a pit drip and I labored for 20 plus hours and I made it up to 8 centimeters without an epidural. Um, at that point I pretty much felt like I was dying because I hadn't slept hardly any in days and had been up at least, I want to say I'd been up 36 hours probably at least by the time I had my epidural. So, I was just exhausted, and I labored very, very long without anything. So, went up to eight on my own, um, then I did end up taking a little bit of a nap. When I did make it to ten, I pushed for three hours, and he was turned, 
uh, it just would not come out at all. Like, I was pushing fine. Like, everything like that was fine. He just was turned the wrong way. And they kept manually turning him. And he would turn back and uh, ball up. So, I ended up having to have a C-section with him. And then, uh, with Declan, he was a scheduled C-section. So, I didn't have any labor with him. So, yeah, definitely not how I planned it. I was hoping to have him completely natural. and ended up having to have a C-section with both. So, yeah, definitely not what I had pictured. All right, question number five. What would I do differently? Um, really, I'm, I'm really happy. Like, I actually enjoyed labor. Like, as weird as that sounds, like it was painful. But I was actually in a really good mood. And I'm, I'm a person, I'm sorry I'm so stuffy. I've had allergies. But I'm somebody that really just tries to uh, soak up everything and be in the moment. And I knew that, you know, you're only in labor once and then it's over. So, I really tried to make the best of it. And I had a really good attitude uh, during labor. I wasn't hateful. I handled everything really well. And I was, I was that person that had, like, full makeup on. Um, right before I went into my C-section, my sister touched my makeup up for me because I've been in labor so many hours. So, I was that girl, and I'm very happy with that. Um, I think if anything, if I would have done anything different, I wouldn't have went into the hospital and got the pit drip. I think I would have waited until, uh, the labor stayed on its own. Uh, but at the same time, they said that it could have been stressful on him. So, you know, I wouldn't want to go back and cause him any harm, obviously. But if I could go back and have him naturally, I would. That. But as far as labor and stuff, um, I was very pleased with how all that went. Okay, advice to moms that are having a baby. Or advice to, like, upcoming mothers. However you want to word it. Girls that's getting ready to have a baby. Uh, don't stress. Like, it's very easy to be so nervous and to stress over everything, but that's not, um, that's not healthy for you or the baby, either one. And to be open-minded to new things. Like, I had to change what my idea of labor and delivery was going to be. Um, and, you know, I was okay with that. So, it's, don't get too attached to any certain plan and just do what's best for you and the baby. And don't let anyone sway you. Like, you know what's best for you and your body and your baby. Just don't let other people be, like, shame you into not doing certain things if you feel like that's what you're supposed to do. So, yeah, definitely just go in with an open mind and do what you feel is best. Uh, the hardest part about being a mom. Uh, hardest part about being a mom. Uh, would be the lack of freedom. Uh, and that's probably going to sound weird because I'm not, I was, I was never somebody that like went out and partied or anything like that. But I feel like the hardest part of being a mom is like when you need to just do small little things like go pay bills or the grocery store and then having to take the kids with you because that makes even the smallest task more difficult. Um, so, I try to leave them with my husband if I have to, like, go to Walmart or something like that. And, so, yeah, I think that's the hardest part. Honestly, I love being a mom, and I enjoy pretty much all of it. So, really, that's the only thing where I'm like, man, I wish somebody could watch the kids just so I could go and do errands that I need to do without having to get them in and out of the car a hundred times. The most rewarding thing about being a mom. Ugh. Most rewarding thing is honestly just seeing how amazing my kids are. Like, I could sit, I haven't even been doing makeup. I'm sitting here talking and not even doing anything. I could sit and brag on my kids for days. Seriously, they are amazing. And I know they're mine, so obviously I'm going to think that. But they are honestly the best kids. And just watching them be polite and loving and happy that is just the most rewarding thing like yeah anytime I see Gage do something because it's more him uh, when it comes to that kind of things because he's older Declan's still little but he will do things that's so polite and mannerly and that's just like the most rewarding feeling ever and or like in church like he'll sing the songs or he'll raise his hands and things like that and that's like the best feeling all right, my best memory with the kids, uh, oh my gosh, this is a hard one, because they are literally with me 24-7, so all my memories in the past four years involve my kids pretty much. I'm trying to think of what the best would be. 
obviously, like, the first time holding them, that's, like, the most amazing moment in life. But I'm trying to think of something, like, aside from that. Definitely when they're together, like, just watching them together is always a good time. But I don't know what the best memory would be. Like, they're all really good. But probably the holding them for the first time, that's just something that really sticks out as, like, the most amazing moment in life. The most exciting milestone. Uh, definitely the walking. I feel like that's a, the biggest one for me. Uh, even more than, like, first words and stuff. Like, when they start having their first steps, I think that's, like, the biggest, most exciting moment as far as milestones go and then potty training oh, that's a good one yes definitely the potty training too like when that's done that's an exciting that's an exciting feeling having them out of diapers is the worst thing your child has done oh, I'm trying to think of anything really bad that they've done like I said I have really good kids uh, Gage really isn't ever mean about anything. He's, um, more of a whiner. Like, if he gets upset or something, he's whiny. But I'm not gonna, like, say that's the worst thing he's ever done. Um, as far as just doing something rotten, like, I think the worst thing Gage has done is draw with a crayon on our walls. But luckily, it was before we renovated, so it wasn't, like, a huge deal. But, like, if he'd done it now, I'd be very upset because um, everything's been freshly redone. But, so, probably that for Gage. And then for Declan, uh, he likes to pinch his brother. So, that's probably the worst thing he does. What is a habit you wish your child didn't have? Oh, habit. Uh, with Gage... Picking his nose. Oh my gosh. He is such a nose picker. He goes around with that finger up his nose all the time. That and scratching his butt. And then for Declan, his worst habit would be uh, sticking his hand down his pants. Because he's a boy. And every little boy, I think, goes through that. But he is horrible for it. So, definitely trying to break him on that habit my kids have that I'm most proud of. Um, with Gage, definitely, he's very mannerly. He always says please and thank you. And, um, like, he'll, he'll actually correct me and his dad if we say something that we're not supposed to say, like, to him. Like, we don't cuss or anything like that. Um, but, like, if we use the word stupid, like, he will correct us and say that's not a nice word. And I love that about him because he is so um, thoughtful about things like that. He doesn't like anyone to be hateful or to fight or to say things that in his mind aren't nice things to say. So he's very, uh, very much in the habit of being respectful and kind. And then Declan, it's a little bit harder for him where he's still so little. Um, what's a habit that he has? Oh, he always, anytime we're leaving somewhere, he always waves and says bye to everybody. And he has to make sure that he says literally bye to everybody. And so that's definitely a habit that he's in, and I think it's adorable. All right, what are some similarities between me and my children, either uh, with looks or personality? Well, with Declan, he literally is my little twin. So we have that those similarities. Gage is definitely very um, loving, like me, but he has a lot of his daddy in him, too, where he's more, um, um, he's more standoffish in ways, like he likes to be by himself, like when he's playing and stuff a lot of times, uh, and I was definitely not like that. I was a little social butterfly. And he is to a point, but then at the same time, like, there's times he just wants to go in his playroom and be by himself. And he definitely gets that from his dad. Um, and I'm trying to think of other things. Uh, they love music and they love to sing. And that's something they definitely did not get from their daddy. This is kind of a, a weird question. Well, not really weird, but it's going to be kind of hard to answer. But it's, um, 
where do I want my child to be in 10 years? But, I mean, my kids are so young. Um, so, in 10 years, Gage will be 14. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Um, I would like for him to definitely be active, like, in his youth group with something. I think that um, both of my kids will probably end up playing an instrument. So, I would like them to have been learning how to play something at that point. Uh, whatever they choose, whether it be like piano or guitar or drums or whatever. But that is definitely something that I would like to see is them stepping into what their calling is going to be as far as like with church and things like that. And I'm hoping that they do sports. I know Declan will. Like he has got it in him. He loves anything to do with a, a ball. Gage, not so much. So, I'm not really sure what he's going to be into. And if it's not sports, that's totally okay. I'm not a big sports person, but I do want them to be in some kind of activity and some kind of social group. What is something that having a child has taught me? Um, it's taught me a lot of things. Like, I can't really narrow it down to one. For one, life is short and it passes so quickly. Like, I feel like since I've had kids, time has really flown by. Seems like when you're a kid, it drags. And you feel like you're never going to be an adult. And you're never going to, you know, be able to do certain things. And then you have kids and you watch how quick they grow. And it just seems like it's flying by. And then it's definitely taught me patience. And it's taught me that it's not about me. <laughs> and... All good things, definitely, but I've definitely grown a lot as a person since being a mom, I feel like. Like, I've, it matures you, and if it doesn't, then uh, something's wrong with you because, uh, you know, having a kid will make you grow up quick. Uh, did I imagine that I would be the age that I was when I first became a mom? Um, Actually, I imagined that I would have been younger uh, by a few years because it took... It took me two years to get pregnant with Gage. I had some issues, nothing major, but it just took a while. Um, and then, like I said, I was 23, but I started trying to have him right after me and my husband were married, and I was 20. Um, so, yeah, I was actually a little bit older than what I figured I would be. I always, I knew if I had kids that I would have them young and that I would have them close together. All right, describe my child in a single sentence. Uh, Gage is kind and loving and sensitive, very sensitive to just everything, his feelings, other people's feelings, and that's probably more than one sentence, but he is. He's kind and loving and sensitive and big-hearted. Uh, Declan is my little firecracker. He is, he is a joy to be around, honestly. He's the sweetest little thing, but he has got some fire behind him, and I, I love it so much. They're so alike, but they're so different at the same time. They both have such big hearts, and they're so loving, but Gage is more timid, where Declan is definitely more of a little, a little fireball. Okay, and last question. And this was kind of like the other one. Um, but it says, describe how being a mom has changed you. Uh, so, being a mom has definitely, like I said, made me a more patient person. I wasn't always very patient about things. But I've learned just to take life slow and just enjoy the little things. It's also made me less worried about what other people think. I was always so worried about pleasing everybody and looking the right way and acting the right way. And now I don't even, I'm like, I'm just myself. I know that I'm a good mom and I focus on my kids more than I do myself, which is always, I mean, that's a good thing. That's the way it should be. But you worry less about other people's opinion of you, I think, because it's no longer about you. So, yeah, I don't worry about 
if everyone likes me or approves of everything I do because not everyone's gonna like you and I'm okay with that I'm like I'm just myself I'm outgoing and loud and obnoxious sometimes but that's okay all right y'all so that is it for this video uh yeah it feels really weird not doing the rest of my face but I'll probably get used to it by the time the month is up but I hope you all enjoyed. Please feel free to answer these questions down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you all have to say. I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.